Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice and welcome to the Catch Up Volume 28. Another week, another good week for Manchester United. He's with our brilliant win against Liverpool. Come of the hour, come of the man Bruno Fernandes saving us as always. Our Lord and Saviour, as people would say for Manchester United as a religion, but not for us of course. But yes, Guys, as welcome to the popular opinion, of course. I've got my man them beside me. I've got Amok. What are you saying, Amok? Bye. Been celebrating since last night. Can't stop celebrating. That's what I've got to say. Saying nothing. And we got takes, bro. What are you saying, takes? I'm good, bro. <laughs> still riding the wave, still. And Jax, what are you saying, my brother? Great win against Liverpool yesterday. Perfect way to start the week. I'm good. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share across all your social media feeds, and also remember to share to people that you like and people that you don't like. You get me? And of course, this week we'll be discussing the match against Liverpool, that 3 2 win at Old Trafford, knocking off those bloody smelly scouts and scums off their perch again at the FA Cup. Of course, we advance straight up to the next round. We're definitely going to be talking about a couple of current affairs with Lingard being omitted out of the Manchester United squad. We're adding Diallo into that mix. We will definitely look at the FA Cup week and round up. Your game of the week, guys, if you guys did watch some match or watch match of the day. And we'll be talking about the preview against Sheffield United and also Arsenal, the preview against Arsenal as well. Yes, we start straight into that game. That game against Liverpool. That 3-2 victory. That last-minute winner. Bruno Fernandes' free kick. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful goal. But guys, let's just go straight into that match. Of course, I was pleased to just win that game against Liverpool. Knocking Liverpool off their perch again. Sending them messages, you know. It was lovely to see um, Trent Alexander-Arnold getting toasted. Uh, he was absent, especially mm -hmm. defensively. You know, he's, he does his thing going forward, but he was absent. And, of course, my guy, Labile, solid performance again, consistency. Pleased to see him. Mark Rashford doing a thing with my boy, Mason Gunman Greenwood. It was a good match. Good match for the neutrals, not for us defensively. It's a couple of mistakes from the two centre-backs. Maguire, of course. Lindelof, of course. But despite that, mm, pleased with that. Amok, how do you feel about that game? But it was nerve-wracking in the first 20 minutes after the first score, didn't it? Because yeah. obviously we know like they keep the ball, they know how to play with the ball. We didn't have that much possession. But one thing that I've that I've seen it for the past six, seven weeks, I don't like you said in the last video, you don't care if you go behind, if we go behind. We just got that belief because the way the players play. That little thing that I saw yesterday coming back together and that pass from, um, um, what's it called, Rashford, that pass was exquisite, fam. It was too beautiful. He stopped the ball and looked, just placed it. Mima jumped, he couldn't. That pass was too good. People don't even know how quality, how good was that pass. Like, just to see our players perform the way they did yesterday, come on, man. It's beautiful. And being Liverpool as well, Yes. We've played them three times this season. We've drawn two and one, this last one, which is beautiful. I can't take it away from the players. It was a beautiful weekend. That's how you end the weekend, though, for real. I know, man. It was just a good weekend, man. Good week for us in general, especially winning that game against Burnley. Jasmine, what did you think of that match? It was a nervy first 20, like my boy Amok said. It was a nervy first 20. Um, I think they were all over us. We got the ball and we couldn't string more than three or four passes together before they got the ball back. So they were onto us and they were pressing. But after they scored the goal, we became a different side. And I'm happy with both Rashford and Greenwood. They played very well. But Luke Shaw again, albeit Salah, two of Liverpool's goals came from the right-hand side. Which I wasn't happy about. And, and, he had another good game. Mm. For me, look short, game. look short. Yeah, that that Salah first goal. Look short uh, and then the love. But I blame Look short more because yeah. he was in front. 
Lindelof was behind Luxor. Luxor should have covered. But Lindelof made a mistake. He should have dragged back a little bit to cause the offside. But he was forward. But it was a good thing, though. And as you were saying, Jax? Um, yeah. For me, Luke Shaw was good. Rashford was exceptional. Um, it was a 50-50 game, man, and we, we ended up winning. Bruno came and scored the free kick, so great way to start the week, like I said earlier. Another good performance. I'm just waiting for us to get into the semi-finals and see if we can um, get into a final this season. That would be good. Right, let's hope so, bro. And Tix, bro, what did you think of the match, bro? I loved it. You know, remember last week I, t- I told you lot that we were gonna deal with them. I told uh, you lot. Of course, we're, we're gonna, gonna deal with them. Yeah, you were yeah, twenty percent positive. Yes. Yeah, I told you we're gonna deal with them. Listen, and he actually you actually mentioned Greenwood as well, you know. He yeah. Actually mentioned I said, no, you know what? I said Greenwood hat trick, but obviously it didn't go back. <laughs> yeah, we mentioned him. You mentioned I, it. Yeah, bro. I said Greenwood, but anyway, what was I saying? When they scored their first goal, I wasn't even worried. You know, mm. this, is, this has been the pattern of our season. We go behind and then it just something happens. It click. Something clicks in our brain and then we just. We just we just turn up, and after that goal, we played well. I haven't seen us play like that against Liverpool for a time. Like the, like we attacked them, made made their fullbacks look standard, and they're not standard fullbacks, bro. These are good fullbacks. So we made them look standard. Played our game, did well, and yeah, man, I, I enjoyed that match. Still, I can't lie. Yeah, man, it was a good game, man. Especially um, Greenwood's man. I have to say, about Greenwood. It was a good game for him, man. Especially, I love these posts after the match on Instagram, telling them, mm. hi, haters. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mason Greenwood. He definitely had to tell them, man. Hi. Trust me. Mm. Hi. Right. Even the celebration, like... Yeah. And he's like, guys, hi, haters. Hi, doubters, right? you know. Trust me. Men's back, like, trust me. But, Jez, what did you think about Mason Greenwood's performance um, yesterday? Do you know what? He's come back. Yesterday, he got a goal and a, an assist. Mm-hmm. What more can you expect? The only... Criticism I'd have was in the first half, there was a couple of chances where he could have passed. He didn't pass at the right moment. But I I take that down to being not match fit, not playing regular games, you know? He's in and out of the team, so I don't feel we're going to see the best of him. But it was a great performance, a goal and an assist, like I said. Um, And I feel like Cavani helps both Greenwood and Rashford because he was a workhorse up there. You would think it was a 24-year-old playing up there. Sure, a 24-year-old guy <laughs> running around. The amount of times you saw him in our own half trying to get the ball mm. back. Cavani, for me, yesterday, was the unsung hero. Even though mm. he flops for their second goal, mm. that yeah. misplaced pass. That was my goal spook. No, bro. No, no yes, come come on, has to take the hours come for on. that. He misplaced that. They, they even said it, we don't play good from the back. So yeah, why did we, we don't play, play good from the, from the back. back when we, we don't play good from the back. We, have, we, we need to have the ball properly. We need to have the ball. But when we play, when we have Maguire and Lindelof, we don't play properly from the back. But when we have Maguire uh, and Bay, we play properly from the back because why? Well, I'm not going to lie. Everyone steps forward. Cavani has to take it off because it was Cavani who lost the ball. He should not have the way he passed. I don't know what he was doing. God, like I said, it's pressure there that. were too many Liverpool players around him. There was right. no one there. Bro. Bro. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? I know that's right. <laughs> what did we say about Bailey a few weeks ago? When he gets the ball, he kicks it out. He don't he care. Clearly, he don't go. Yeah, yeah, right. So you, you want to play that Sam Allardyce football? No, it's not about that. What you want, Amok? Sam Allardyce football. No, we were leading against Liverpool. We all leading against Liverpool. We did not have to concede. Oh, wait, are you blaming goal. Maguire for that? Yes. Not Maguire, wow. just the play. Not That's Maguire, for say. Fault, not Maguire for say, yeah. but just the play from the back. We don't play good from the back. We shouldn't do it. Yeah. And Maguire is actually what a goal player. Do? Starting okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm up. Let me ask a quick time. question. I'm up. Yeah. Let me ask a quick question. Apart from that yeah. pass from Cavani, where we messed what? up and when we messed up and um, conceded a goal, when was the last time you saw that? You saw that? You saw us do that? That you say we can't play from the back. When's the last time you saw us do that? Isn't it? That we haven't played from the back for a very long time. We always it's play from the back. We always play from the back. We always. It don't. It's not. It don't work properly. It okay, tell work. us the last time the we conceded, big man. That I know it's a con- Cavani made the biggest mistake, but Cavani mm. shouldn't even be at that position where he was. I don't know if you get what I'm nah, saying. Nah, nah, I understand what you're saying. Football, bro. We should have done better. We because there were too many Liverpool players during that period there. Famino was the mm-hmm. man for Liverpool. They were, we were under pressure. We were under pressure. So why 
you sign the ball from the back, when you're under pressure, we did not have to concede the second ball if we played properly from the back yesterday. That's what I'm going to say. Because I see how we play, which is good. But that yeah. second ball, we didn't have to. It was a silly, silly, silly mistake that we made and we conceded. By Cavani. <laughs> yeah. But both players. Oh, yeah, no, let's move on. Team, not, not just Cavani, from the team itself. <laughs> the team, no, Cavani by himself. Yeah, same thing. No, Let's move on. on. <laughs> I, I, I want to talk about another player who played really well, which was Marcus Rashford. Jeez. Jeez, he, he was effective on the left wing. And you can clearly see that his best position is playing off that left wing because on the right wing, I don't he goes, I don't know what he's doing. He does definitely goes missing at times. But yesterday clearly showed how effective he was on the left wing. Toasting Trent Alexander Arnold several times. And also whoever that was, Harvey Elliott, or whoever that was playing on. Right back, centre back, whatever who that was, he was also getting it. But yo, text man, what's your take on Mark Rashford's performance yesterday? I listen because of him, that centre back, they're sending him on loan to Peterborough or something because he <laughs> he he destroyed him. How can you do that to the kid, fam? You're supposed to be feeding the kids, and that's what you're doing to the, to the poor boy. Nah, Rashford's a piss taker, fam. Nah, he, Rashford. Fam, <laughs> Great game. I hope he's not injured, you know, because we're going to need him to go Arsenal still. No, there are some news that he kind of picked up a slight injury. That's why he came yeah. off and Marshall mm. came off for him. But Trent as well, that fraud. Yeah, Trent. Like that. You know, you know, you know, the, you know, the Trent said a story. There was a time that um that Rashford messed him up in a match and he said, yeah, from this day, I have to up my levels because that's not happening again. Have you not seen that interview when he said that? Oh, I haven't seen the interview, but I've heard about it. You need that. to replay him it. that interview because he said <laughs> no, Rashford smoked him. Is it on said, YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube. I did not check it out. Cool or something. He said, "Yeah, Rashford messed him up," and he said, "Nah, he needs to up his up his game." And then Rashford messed him up again. So maybe now Trent is gonna maybe up the levels again. I on. doubt it, man. I doubt it right now, man. That team is in the slums right now, Liverpool. <laughs> uh, they've lost back to back. You know, I don't know how they'd be feeling right now. Oh, they're done out here still. They said it's so positive because they scored two goals for the first time in four games. <laughs> That's and what that, the manager did say. And it's good that we didn't beat Liverpool with a penalty, you know, we didn't score no penalty. But definitely, you know, Bruno Fernandes did score a long-range penalty if he, if he wants to be pissed off. Man scoring that free kick, I was pleased, man. What did you guys think of that, man? Last and minute, if... it was a good, good way to end the game. Um, we needed Bruno to come on. He came on. He done his bit before he scored that goal. Um, Fred was lined up to take it, and I was saying in my head, "Please, Lord, do not let Fred sh- Fred move away from the ball, man." Bro, do you think <laughs> oh, yeah. they let Fred take that? <laughs> no, never, of course not. never. No, a dead deploy. No, everyone knew that Fred wouldn't have taken it anyway. Mm-hmm. And but, you know, um, yeah, it was like an all tight loose show, though. All tight loose show because they had confidence to come and take a free kick next to Pogba and say, "Yeah, no." I remember it's it's like, it's in most of us set, like set pieces this season, mm-hmm. been like corners. Been taken by Luke Shaw. I was going to ask that. Why is that? Actually, Luke because Luke Shaw is on smoke, fam. You see, UCAD and um, them drug testers, they need to test Luke Shaw because what he's doing this season is mad. <laughs> Big man thing. Him and John Stones, they need to test them. Do you know, what, going on. Do you know what shocks me about Luke Shaw? I was thinking, bro, Luke Shaw, like, these, nah, bro, you can cross now. Bro, like, where uh, was you? Uh, where have you been? I'm sure. All of a sudden, he's taking, he's taking steps. That. He's just like, bro, Luke Shaw, you can I'm actually do that. that? Luke Shaw, you take corners? Yeah, Three kids, like, bro, thumbs where up. was this Luke Shaw that was, you know, where was he? It's injuries. When you get too much injuries, you get scared to do, you go build the confidence. Remember, last season, he mm-hmm. was getting there slowly. But I think he cut, it's catching up with him now. He's looking powerful. Like, he's looking, I think England got trouble. Who are they going to call? They are they gonna call? But do you think Luke Shaw deserves a call up back into the England oh yes. he has it. Definitely after this performance these past two months. Definitely. Who, who are you gonna pick instead of Luke Shaw? Who is this? Ben Chill, isn't it? Ah, yeah, Ben Chill, please. Come on, Luke Shaw, bro. Luke Shaw is sitting oh, at the top of the table. But Which the one thing are? I would ask for Luke Shaw is consistency mm-hmm. now. Because yeah, you know man. we've seen this from Luke Shaw. We've seen the brilliance that he has, but then we've also seen the shit times. So Let's hope he can play he's this way full. until May at least, and that'll be great. No, he's on full. I think England should call him next time if they if we got any international coming up. 
because this is something that helped build individual men, um, 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 like mental strength in that because he hasn't been called for a very long time. So if he get called, cool, it will be good for us as well because we all know he's on form. But it's brilliant, though. I, I'm loving it. Um, and it's good, though. It's good. So far, it's, it's a good feeling for Manchester United Cat, man. Um, whatever Oli's doing for now is it's working, you know. Oh, and guess what? Sip on Oli juice as well. Sip on the Oli juice as well. <laughs> for the first hey, time. Welcome. For the first time. Welcome. For the first time. I'm Wait, where is that one, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> the Oli juice, bro. That's the shit that, that makes is. you smile through the Don't watch that. Link up soon. After lockdown, link up soon, fam. Don't watch that. No After lockdown, no link more. up soon. But guys, we breaking news today, you know. It's been breaking news today. Lampard sacked yeah. Chelsea. Frank Frank Lampard, he's finally been caught for being fraud Lampard. What a fraud man trying to be fake Pep, Pep, Pep Guardiola, B Tech version of Pep Guardiola. What do you guys think of that, bro? Because I, I'm not surprised. I'm not no. surprised. Mm -hmm. I think it's harsh, you know, just a little Why? bit. Bro, think about it. Last season, he had no money to spend. This season, the players need time to gel. That's all it is. The players yeah, need time but, to gel. Yeah, and but also, you don't we've seen it with Arsenal and we've seen it with United. Oli was going to get sacked just a few weeks ago. Arteta was going to get sacked just a couple weeks ago. I feel like Chelsea reacted too soon. They could have mm -hmm. waited till May mm -hmm. before they sacked him. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, Jex, you don't mess with Abramovich's money. He's a Russian, bro. Don't mess <laughs> with my money, my brother. Awesome. Don't mess with my money. He gave him 200 mil. Remember last season was a blight. He was like, no chance to blight you. It's I'm going to blight you. For 200 it's mil, look at what's going on with Chelsea right now. In this economy, 200 it's mil. Ah, ah, my it's money. I'm a Russian, you know? Russian it's mafia hard. now, bro. Oil money. You don't mess with Robert He's got trigger yeah. fingers to quit, make you get sacked, bro. You get me? He's always they told him they know his trigger figure was club. itching, bro. It was itching for a very long time. He was like, he wants a second, long time ago. A couple of months ago, but he was like, ah... I love him. He's a legend. But this time, pop, 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 pop. Pop. he loves Lampard. He likes. You know Lampard. what's so funny that Lampard got sacked after winning yesterday, bro. <laughs> <In there. laughs> my yeah. man got hat trick. Hey, you know. trigger finger, you know. Man my got man got hat trick on, you know. on a high as well. Bro, hmm? man's a long man still. My man got hat trick. No, what, what, is, what does that mean for Chelsea though? Because Thomas Tuchel is coming in apparently. Okay. I think Chelsea are gonna be the upper hand. You get rid of Lampard again to my t-shirt. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was like, wow, you're not doing this. You get a manager that I personally, as a football fan, I love his philosophy. Remember, a few years back, I told you, mm -hmm. I said, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go get him. When he came after Bush that one lost um, 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 club, when he came Bush that one, he changed the club. We saw what he done to PSG as well when he got there. But at the end of the day, this is Premier League, it's the difficult league to play. You might be that good as a manager, come here, he's still flat. But I'm just worried that they have a very good manager. A very good manager. Chelsea have a good one. Yeah, man. Uh, definitely. I think that that probably might be a good appointment. But we move straight up to the next news. Of course, guys, Jesse Lingard status, his Premier League registration. He's been admitted for the Manchester United squad for the Premier League team. If you have Amadiolo taking his position, speculation on Jesse Lingard's future. What does that mean? I don't know. It, does it mean that Jesse Lingard's future is done for Manchester United? He might be potentially sold. You never know because he's been admitted from the Premier League squad. What's the point? You know, Jax, man, what do you think about that? You know, there's one question I'd love to know. Yeah. I know that United want to move him on, but does Lingard want to go or does he want to stay? Because if he wants to stay, I feel like he's very comfortable all he cares about, not that all he cares about because he loves United, but it, sh it shows a lack of ambition. For me, he should be pushing for a move. If not a permanent one, a loan deal because you're just sitting cold on the bench. Like these are the, the prime of your prime time of your career. He's what, 28 now, 29? Mm -hmm. yeah. He's only got a handful of years left. So it's not a surprise. He's not going to get any game time this season. And He's a Manchester United lad. I wish him all the best, but he needs to find a club in the summer or the transfer window is still open within the next one week. He has to. If not, he's not going to play. He's not good enough to play for United, unfortunately. 
And Diallo, of course, I want to see a bit of him this season. So, yeah, I want to see what we spent money on. Exactly. So it's a good swap. What do you guys think? What do you take? Yeah, I think, yeah, Lingard, he didn't develop his game to 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 be to play for Man United at this level, what we're trying to do. And he, yeah, he's 28. So, I, I, yeah, I feel, I feel like he needs to move on. I, I love Lingard. I, I do have a soft spot for Lingard, but, yeah, he's not good enough, man. He, he needs to go still. What do you think about that, Mook? For me, it was like it came as a surprise, but I think it's a good move. Remember, I told you, give this Diallo guy a chance. I got a good feeling. Like, I've got a feeling that he's going to prove us all wrong. That like, no, I can't make you do sad because he's young, isn't it? But then the team at itself, all the NS management saying that and doing what they did just makes me feel more intrigued, like, because I want to see more from this player. So Jesse getting taken away for me is not a surprise. We all said it the last time as so well. His passes were sloppy. Everything that he did was sloppy. And like Tate just said, he hasn't improved himself to play at this level for United. And he's falling short. So that was the right call by the team itself. True that, man. Even me, I think that Lingard, is time. his time is personally up for Manchester United. And I think if he wants to just do the best for his career, he should move on. You know, it's been a long time coming. He should have moved on about two seasons ago. Where I thought, uh, okay, like he's not playing too much. You know, he's had his personal issues and that was affecting him. I felt like this season he should have left a little bit of, you know, new life somewhere else, you know, where he can just start over again because he needed that. He needed that for his own mental health as well. You know, a fresh start just to help him. But he chose to stay. I don't know whether if Oli wanted to keep him... But if Oli commits to keep him, he was stupid to just listen to that because he hardly played this season. And right now, even I've, even though we've heard that um, Jesse Lingard has been linked to players, I'm also hearing that Oli still wants to keep him. So, But with Diallo, with this news right here, it definitely means that Lingard will be going. Definitely. Guys, if you are watching, let us know exactly what you think of the situation. Does it mean that Jesse Lingard will go? Or will he be staying? Let us know exactly what you thought of the game against Liverpool as well. Remember to comment on the li- on the comment description below. We move on straight to the FA Cup game of the week. FA Cup round up. You don't know my favorite part of the show. You know when you get to talk about other teams. We've had. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's coming, guys. You know what's coming. You know. Well, yes, we've had good. Games as well to see. We saw my beloved team Arsenal losing 1 0 to Southampton, and we saw Tottenham as well going through. We had um, Chelsea going through, we had Man City going through as well. You know, a couple of good games, a couple of shockers as well. But yes, we go straight up into it. My game of the week, of course, you don't know, Arsenal fan. My second team, yes, 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 my second team. Obviously, I was quite pissed off at the end of the day because obviously I saw certain men like Williams playing and I wasn't happy with that. Williams wasn't doing nothing good, bro. He was dead. And of course, I don't know what happened defensively, but how can you let someone like Jack um, um, Muscle walk up, have a field day against our team, man? But Never like that, man's always, always going to be Arteta out as always. You get me? As always. Jasper, what was your game of the week? Come on, man. That's a silly question this week, bro. Come on. It has to be United Liverpool. Three yeah. two, three goals, end to end almost. You know, United 3 2. This is probably only the second or third time I've chosen a United game. So, third time. United, bro. Third time. There you go. 3-2 win at Old Trafford. Come on. And what about you, Takes? What was your game of the week? Um, mine was um, Arsenal going out to Southampton still. That brought me so much joy. Ah, <laughs> I can't lie. They're, they're out of their own version of the Champions League, so you know they can't win that in this season. So they're, they're, they're done out here. I love that. Trust me, man. Hey, what about you, Amuk? For me, I would have said United, but I'm still waiting over United. I would say Bristol versus Millwall was a beautiful game to see them two teams play. 
Bridge, obviously, Bristol dominated. They got three goals. Like Millwall, it was just beautiful to see Championship team play the way they played yesterday. It was too too much. Millwall and bad, you know. But Bristol, I think we hear what they got this new season, and they might do well because they smoked Millwall yesterday. They smoked Millwall. Oh, what was the score? Three 0 They smoked Millwall. Yeah. Good. Good. Bristol smoked Millwall three No. I could have been a Millwall supporter, you know. Hey, I've not accepted you, my brother. I went to one, I said never again. Never again. They will never accept you. Hey, oh, bro. What it was? And our championship football is competitive. It is a good, a good league, league championship football, definitely. I think it's more entertaining. It's more entertaining. The Premier League is too <clears throat> physical, like everyone wants to show themselves. Back there, it's just too laid back. People just want to be themselves and do what they've got to do. It's beautiful football they play out there. You know, and guys, let us know what was your game of the week if you're still watching. You get me. As always, remember to subscribe and smash that like button. And we're moving up straight to the match preview. First game, Manchester United versus Sheffield. Of course, another three points. We need that. We need that to stay on top of the league as always because we've got those pussy holes on the weekend. But we talk about this match against Sheffield United. Last time we played, guys, we whooped their ass. We gave it to them. But now we play them again. Hopefully we get these three points because I ain't out here just not messing around no more. I'm actually starting to believe that, yeah, we can do this, bro. Because I see it in the players. I can see something's happening. Like they, they, they even feel like they can do it. You know, definitely. Sheffield United, I definitely think we should be winning. I don't want to see no Fred McFred at all. I want to see straight Pogba, Fred, Bruno, straight up in the midfield. Bayou needs to play. Uh, no Lindelof, Maguire, of course, the two guys, of course, um, you've got Shaw and um, Juan Bissaka. But definitely up front, I want to see Martial, and I, I don't know about Cavani. I want to see Martial Greenwood and Rashford, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I'm not going to lie to you. Trust me, I want to see Cavani. Definitely Cavani. I want to come on. Cavani, Martial needs to come off the bench and come replace Cavani. But Cavani needs to start every single game for us to the end of the season. Fair if enough. Fair enough. Martial sometimes, the way he ever comes out, Martial ever comes in. I get that. I get that. But me right now, straight win. What are you saying, Jax? No, definitely. Yeah, yeah, straight. Of course, man. You took it. You took the words out of my mouth. It's a straight win. <laughs> These games we need to be winning. If you're not within the top four, we need to beat you. That's how I'm feeling. So hopefully we can get those three points. And I'm with you with the team selection. Van der Beek, for me yesterday, it showed he was a bit unfit. That's because he hasn't been playing. He had an average game, exactly. Mm-hmm. So he needs to build his fitness and then work his way back into the team. But your selection was spot on, bro. Uh, but up front, I think Cavani showed himself. Yesterday. Fair enough. If you want Cavani to play Martial and Rashford mm-hmm. on the wing. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And what about you, Takes? Uh, we're going to steal with them. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yes. No, no, no. <laughs> if we score in the first 20 minutes, mm-hmm. Sheffield are finished. But if we don't, though, I'm a bit worried that we're going to have to battle and then just try and score in the last, like, 10, 20, 10, 20 minutes. But hopefully we score early and then just deal with them because it's overdue for us to pack a team in, you know. It's overdue. I know, fam. What about you, Mook? Now, nah, if the man them, though, definitely need to win. Like, not just win, but pack them in. Now, we are in a good form. Like, the players deserve much more. So, imagine if we beat Chelsea, like, five or four. Like the buzz yeah, is good. Even three nil is good enough for play- me. No, yeah, now I want us to go like four five because the buzz over the players. The, I want the players to be more excited. We have mm. seen this last season from Liverpool. The more they kept winning, the more the players kept. You get what I mean? So we got to Sheffield and smoke them four five. But he even gonna come next, coming there with some some next pace. You know <laughs> what I mean? But we definitely need to win. Yes, we definitely, definitely need to win. Definitely. Well, yeah, guy, we're moving up straight into the Arsenal versus Manchester United. 
Yes, that big game for Arsenal. Up to us, it's not a big game, but for Arsenal, it's a big game for them because they've always been hating on us. Don't know why. I don't know why. But yeah, man, straight up, guys. That game, I don't want to see us lose. I need to see us win because I don't want to hear nothing from these Arsenal fans, you know? Straight up, I definitely feel like we'll go there because we've got a very good away record so far. And we need to get these free points against Arsenal. So, bruh, I ain't seeing, I ain't messing around. I don't want to hear nothing. We have to win this match. What are you saying, Jess? Quickly, revenge. Mm-hmm. Beat us early in the season, now it's our turn. <laughs> Anything else put up for that, if you can elaborate a bit more? Yeah, they beat, as I said, it was a poor game last time we, we beat uh, faced them. We're away from home this time. We have a good enough away record. And I feel like we've, we haven't got any injuries. The players are looking fresh. It's a perfect time to go out there and beat them at, Tra- uh, at Degas, Emirates. Mm-hmm. I'm very confident. They just lost to Southampton as well. We're getting three points now. I'm very confident. Very and what about you, Tatesman? What are you saying about that match against Arsenal? I'm not elaborating mine. Mm-hmm. We are going to deal with them. <laughs> Remember I said that. We, we talk again. Remember I said we're going to deal with I like takes, you know. <laughs> It's optimism. Oh, is this one no, is not optimism. This one is we are going to deal with them. This is not me being optimistic. This is facts. Straight up, we're facts. going to deal like with them. Still. We're definitely going to deal. And Mook, what are you saying, yeah, bro? bro? We've got less than a minute like, left. I hope, like, I'm with Jags on this one. Revenge. I wasn't happy the first time around. Like, definitely want to lose to them, like you said. Don't want to lose to them. So we have to whoop them up. Like, definitely get a good scoreline as well. Not just win them like 1 0, but get like 2 3. At least 3 1. For me, that's good enough. But we definitely need to beat Arsenal. Obviously, guys, definitely we can't go there and obviously get moved to. And I'm not really too worried against Arsenal. Like, it's Arsenal at the end of the day, you know? They're, they're not usually our bread and butter because obviously in the past they've I think the last game they won, which was a lot, which was a lucky win, penalty by Obama Yang, and which I didn't think they deserve it. But guys, if Arsenal was to beat us, oh. <laughs> what would happen? Oh. I don't even know. I, mean, I don't know how you guys can take that. I don't know if you deserve our record against Arsenal, though. That's what I gotta say. Yeah, can you just imagine? Those Arsenal fans, you'll never hear the end of it. Take them away, get record. We're doing good that way so far. Not against Arsenal. Yeah, but what else, man? Because at the end of the day, we got Arteta. He's doing his thing so far in the last couple of games. Do you guys think it's going to be an easy game against Arsenal? Or do you guys think it's going to be a hard game? Premier League games are never easy, you know. That's one thing you need that you need to clock up on the Premier League. Even Sheffield United, as much as I say that we need to pack them in, we need to win, they're not coming to roll over. They want to stay in their league. They're 20th, so they're going to fight. The same way with Arsenal. They know that they're in their own situation. They've had a poor season. They want the three points. So I would expect them, especially with our previous rivalry with them, I expect them to put up a good fight. It definitely won't be easy, but we'll beat them. I'm pretty sure of it. Hmm. What were you takes? Yeah, uh, uh, we're gonna deal with them. I reckon <laughs> it's gonna be an easier game than Sheffield. Remember, I said that. <laughs> and, uh, you are laughing. Trust me. It's gonna be an easier game. Nah, than I remember saying uh, that. Top one. Watch. Take. Hey, I'll be cool if if it happens. I'll be calling you. A yeah, it's cool. yeah. When it's coming up. What do you think about <laughs> this? Let me know. Ah. I'm calling you for that. For that. Like, no, but I like that though. No, I like his. I see what he just said there. Mm-hmm. Remember, that was me back like last season. But it was just that the team itself refused to do what I was predicting. That was me. I always had that belief in the club. Like, I always seen what we're going through right now. I've always seen it. I know we've got too many good players to be doing what we did the past two seasons. We've got too many good players for that. Mm-hmm. So now that the players actually jumped and like, all this man management is doing well. We have to go there and smoke this team. Like, we have to. Like you said before, you think we are competing for the title. Any game, Jags and we do, you know, you said it from last year or early this year. You say you don't care about nothing. All you care about was the W. 
We need it. If we keep getting doubles, brother, by the end of May, bro, what's your gun? I don't want to get two cards. I don't want to Champions. say it. But <laughs> it would happen. It will like, happen. Definitely. Definitely, definitely I feel like yeah. it. Like, fingers crossed that it will happen, isn't it? Like, it will happen. We'll see. Well, definitely, guys. Straight up, we all think that it's going to be a win against the Arsenal. Sorry, the Arsenal. I need to get my pronunciation right. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. And of course, guys, as usual, we have come to the end of the show. I'd like to thank you for watching, as always. And of course, definitely we're going to have to plug in the man them with their shout-outs, as always. Yeah, but we want to start off with our MOOC. Where can the people find you, my brother? Obviously, on Instagram, pretty flack underscore 16. All day, every day. And takes, bro. The oh, artists, up and coming oh. artists, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the man them long, and long, live takes. Long, live, long live takes on Instagram. Give me a follow, man. And of course, what else you got for them people takes? New music coming soon. February, you're going to hear me again. So, yeah. No games out now. Mm-hmm. And February, you're going to hear something new. Cool. And Jex, when, where can the people find you? Uh, I'm on Instagram. And it's Jex underscore United. And of course, guys, you can find me on the official Red United TV, which is Red United TV One, baby. And my episode, my personal, which is Ivorian underscore Spice. Same for the Twitter. And of course, as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to share across all your social media platforms. Remember to share to people that you like, people that you don't like. And also remember to share to your ex-girlfriend and your ex-boyfriend as well. You get me? And of course, as always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. We're out.